got food on your nose. Yes, you do. She has food on her nose. Can you hear her purr? So we're going to name her Cinder. I gave her a dose of Revolution Plus. On Sunday, we'll um, test her for female leukemia and FIV. Tomorrow, I'll call <clears throat> and make an appointment for her to get spayed and get a rabies and distemper vaccine. And more than likely, we'll probably release her in the warm garage in case she has a neighbor's cat. Um, and she thinks our place is her home, so she's smart and she's she thinks that she's home, so we don't have to worry about her running away because she certainly thinks that she's home. And of course, after her spay, we'll give her a chance to recover inside before we would put her out in the warm garage. But listen to her purr. Pretty girl. You get a whole video just for yourself, pretty girl. So, who knows where she came from? <clears throat> Maybe word spread about our soup that we feed all of the outside ferals. We don't know where she came from. But before that, we before we started this sanctuary. We had to get permission from all the neighbors, and it was like in a four-mile radius. We had to get permission to open up a cat sanctuary, so all the neighbors were in agreement um, that would we, we would be a good addition to Rice County, um, and all of the neighbors know because I actually told them, if your cat comes on our property and they are not spayed or neutered, that we will get that taken care of, and none of them had a problem with that. So... We just want to stop the cycle. There's just so many cats in this world. As you see, when we go into our sanctuary, all those cats were homeless, living in dangerous areas for cats. So we're just trying to be a part of the solution and we hope that if other people have property in a garage that has heat, that they could do the same thing and help be a part of the solution. And she said, amen.